All right, I'm back with another round of website reviews. I asked you guys to uh, post them on YouTube and I got a lot of responses, but this time we're focusing on a really important page actually, which is the about page or the about us page. So a lot of you submitted yours and I took a look and I found five that I think are really good examples of some of the common issues that I see. So even if I'm not reviewing yours today, you're still gonna learn a whole lot about things you can do uh, on your own About Us page to make it work even better. So before we get into uh, the actual websites, let's talk for a second about what the ideal About Us page should accomplish. So um, I've said this before and I'll say it again, it's a little counterintuitive, but your About Us page is not actually about you at all. It's only about how you can help your clients because that's really all they care about at the end of the day. It should build trust and authority. You know, in other words, how are you qualified to help them? And ideally, you should be able to put the point across of what is it that you believe or what is your guiding philosophy that your clients would agree with? Like, for instance, for my business, something like that would say, I believe that your website should actually bring you more customers, not just sit there and look pretty. And finally, your About Us page should connect with your customer as a person. So show that you're more than a brand, that you're human, because more and more, as time goes on, people value doing business with actual people rather than big faceless corporations. This can involve you know, showing a photo of your face and maybe a really short origin story basically designed to show people that you've been there, done that, and that you can help them too. All right, so with that out of the way, let's dive into the website reviews. Um, the first one is from Excessive Digital, and this is one of my students, Aaron, uh, in my Profitable Website Launchpad program. So let's check out what he's got. Okay, so Aaron, this looks pretty good on first glance, but one thing I would say is this headline, Profitable Lead Generation for Local Service Businesses, this feels much more like a homepage headline to me. You might want to try leading with a one of those I believe type statements. Remember, we're saying, I believe in this, or think of it as an I believe statement or a should statement. So in this case, I might say something like, your website should be generating leads and putting you in front of people who are searching for what you offer. So that's just a simple tweak that can kind of take this kind of basic headline that's just, a, it's a little meat and potatoes, right? It's a little just um, focusing on what exactly you do versus that transformation that you're likely to get for your clients. All right, so let's go on down the page here. And yeah, so what we've got here is a really big, um, what I would call a missed opportunity. You basically just, you're showing your logo really large. We've already got your logo up here. We don't really need it um, to be here. So what I would do actually is replace this with a photo of yourself if it's just you or of your team if you have one. This goes a long way toward showing people that you're actually, there's someone behind the brand. You know, It's not just someone sitting behind a computer that they're never gonna interact with. It's really important for people to connect and to see that real kind of human element of your business. So just put a photo right there, very easy to do. And moving on down, so we've got a how we help section and a who we help section. So this is great, I love that. What you're not doing is focusing too much on the backstory of you and you know the degrees you have and how long you've been in business. That's stuff that it's nice to hit on really quickly just to kind of get people to know, okay, this guy's an expert, he knows what he's doing. But then you're segueing right into how we help our customers and then who we help, which is huge too. And I like to take this even one step further and I like to have a who we help section or, or a who we're a good fit for section. And then I like to add on top of that who we're not a good fit for or who we can't really help. Something like that because as soon as you start kind of talking about who is not a good fit for your business, suddenly the ones who are a good fit become much more interested because you seem to specialize in the exact situation they're going through. So I'd consider adding that, Aaron, and I think you might see even better results. But the rest of the page is great. Okay, next we've got profitwiseaccounting.biz. So let's go see what they got. Okay, so here on their about page. So what I'm seeing right off the bat is this really large uh, white section that I think there's supposed to be a logo here. There's obviously something here. My, the, the cursor turns into a little hand to click on. Um, so I'd check that out. But even if there is a logo here, this is probably what I would say too much space for that. I would shorten it up get to the, the content a little faster on the page. So, so here we've got 
you know, kind of a, a stock handshake photo and just the ProfitWise team. And then a really simple statement, ProfitWise is accounting. ProfitWise accounting is a second generation accounting, bookkeeping, payroll, tax company serving small and medium sized businesses for over 30 years. So um, that is what I would consider to be just, again, meat and potatoes copy that does very little to really connect with anybody reading it. What I might do instead is lead with that belief or should or shouldn't statement. So again, what is that philosophy that you have that your clients would likely agree with? Or what would you say should be the case or shouldn't be the case in terms of the problem you solve for them? Maybe something like you should be focusing on your business. We will focus on the accounting, the taxes, all that kind of stuff. So that's the kind of statement that your clients are likely to agree with. And one thing that's really missing here is any kind of a photo of your team. Um, I don't know if that's an accident or if that's if it's just something wrong with your website today, but I'm not seeing any photos of you, Sharon, or of you, Ashley. And then when we get down to additional team members, I'm not seeing photos there either. So um, one thing I would really like to see you do is actually take a team photo and put that here rather than this stock handshake, which is kind of the stockiest of the stock photos, right? You really want to lead and introduce yourself there, even if it's just through a photo. So I would definitely replace what you've got here with that photo. And then going down the page, and then we've got this uh, section of text. So it says, before starting ProfitWise, Sharon worked for seven years with a local firm specializing in federal, state, corporate partnership, and individual tax compliance. You know, I like that you've got an origin story there, but I'm not really sure how well it connects with your customers. And here we've got this, this bit of text, which basically sh shows a short origin story and an author it's an authority builder as well. It shows that you've been there, done that. But then we've got this sentence. While with the firm, she realized the relationships being built with clients and others throughout the business community was an integral, integral aspect of her job. So I got to say, I'm not sure why that's important. It might be much more powerful to say. You know, she realized relationships were the key to successful finances or something along those lines. Rather than saying an integral aspect of her job, that does not, that's a, that is a you statement and it does nothing for uh, your clients. And then we've got in 1987, Sharon started her own practice and now focuses on professionals and small to medium sized businesses. So what we get here is that you focus on them, but what do you do for them? That's the really important part. What is the benefit or transformation you bring those small to medium sized businesses? It's not really enough just to say, I focus on them. Okay, so let's go down the page and we've got um, about our business, our vision, our mission, our values. That's all great. Um, profit wise team. So this is something that I always kind of want to take a second look at in terms of if the bios are necessary because what, bio, what team bios can often do is lead people out of the path toward a conversion, and now they're lost in the woods just reading a bio about somebody. And like I say, there is a really good reason to have that authority building statement and the kind of short origin story. For the main person in charge, I don't know that it's necessary for all the team members because then people are just reading them, not really knowing what to do with that information, right? So, but the good news is it's kind of toward the bottom of the page. So, um, that is the best place to put it if you're going to have it anywhere. You could also consider just having that be on its own page in the footer of the website. So people really interested in learning more about your staff can do that, but then um, it's not just going to take them out of the conversion process when they're on your About Us page. All right, up next we have uh, diewell or dwelldesign.com. So let's check it out. So right off the bat, I'll give the same note I gave on the last one. There's a lot of above the fold real estate that's kind of being uh, taken up with this just statement that says about, and it looks really cool, but um, I might shorten that to about half of what it is. And then let's get down. So this headline, we create stories. Have you heard ours? And while that's cute, I like the wordplay there. I got to ask myself, this is one of those statements, though, that's a little you focus, not customer focus. So I might change we create stories to we tell your story. And then you could still say, have you heard ours? I think that would be fine. So then we've got this little paragraph here where I found this statement interesting. Um, you say we're a family who wholeheartedly believes in changing the world through design. So here's the thing. You've got that belief statement. 
But I have to ask, is that something that your clients are going to care about or that they're going to agree with? You know, you definitely want to make sure that that belief is in alignment with a benefit for your clients. And most businesses really don't wake up thinking, I want to change the world with my design, right? They want more business. So then scrolling down the page, okay, so we've got a video section here. I love that video. I love the idea of a video on a About Us page. It's a really good getting to know you kind of tool. So it's just a great way for people to be able to see and hear you. So let's see that video. I think I played this earlier. Um, and I'm not sure if this is a placeholder video, but this definitely, I would say, doesn't really do what I'm talking about in terms of what a video can do on your About Us page. Ideally, you would be talking on the video. You would be connecting with your ideal customers, telling them exactly what you believe and how you help people like them get more business through their designs. So let's close out of this. So let's scroll on down. So we've got, okay, we've got photos of, of the two of you, Katarina and Milan. All right. So these are great photos, um, but I will say that arm, having your arms crossed is classic closed off body language. And I would say this would go much further if the pictures were more open, possibly smiling a little bit more. The reason you want to have your photo here to begin with or a video is all about breaking down those virtual boundaries and connecting with your prospective clients. So a big friendly smile or even like a laughing shot can probably accomplish that and break down those barriers much better than these shots can, as beautiful as they are. Again, these are not meant to be glamour shots, right? They're just meant to connect with your customers. All right, moving on to foundation support specialists. Let's see what they got. Okay, so this is basically a, uh, a contracting company that specializes in foundations. So one thing I will say right off the bat, and I, I say this with all due respect, but anytime you're a contractor, uh, doing work like that, there is already a bit of a bias in people's minds. People are always talking about how you know they got screwed over by a contractor. Um, so you really want to do whatever you can to counteract that pre-judgment that a lot of people may have before they actually know you. So one way to do that is to have a really nice, friendly, approachable photo of you and your team here. Because this photo right here, while it's showing you hard at work, you know, no, the average person who is getting something like this done probably does not want to be reminded of this stage of the process, which is where everything's a mess and everything's torn up. So if you're going to show a picture of the work done, you should probably show something a little more close to finished. It's just my best recommendation for that. But I would still recommend having a photo of you and your team looking very friendly, honest, and trustworthy. So we've got this headline, learn about us, which is okay. It's really utilitarian. Um, but I found this statement that there is definitely a right way to do business. So that's a much more powerful headline, I would say, because it really shows what you believe. And it's something that your clients will definitely agree with, right? There is definitely a right way to do business. So I would just go ahead and change this to that and you're good to go. All right, next we've got DNA landscapes. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are on their about page. And again, here's another, it seems to be a theme today. There's a lot of wasted space here um, with all this, this vertical space. Like people have to scroll down quite a bit to get to anything good. And honestly, I when I look at this page, it doesn't really feel like an about us page at all. It feels much more like a portfolio page or possibly a home page. Again, you need to really show us that overarching belief that's going to align with what your clients also believe. So something like your outdoor space should feel like home too, right? That would be a good positive statement to lead with here. So what you want to do is use a few paragraphs to tell people what you're all about and the types of transformations you can help them make. And coming back up to the top here, the headline, our team designs and builds the best landscapes. The problem with that is that's a very us focused headline, right? I'd rather see you turn that around on your clients. And I would just go with what I said before, which is some, something along the lines of your outdoor space should feel like home too. So let's go back down. So you've got a portfolio section here, which I love. That goes a long way toward building authority, particularly because this is such a visual based medium, right? Like you can talk all day about how long you've done this, but People want to see the goods, so I'm glad that you have this here. And you do beautiful work, by the way. 
So one another thing that's missing here is just that team photo that really lets people know that you're honest and that what you see is what you get. So if you'd like me to take a look at your website or your digital marketing or your about page or your homepage, anything is fair game. I do offer 60 minute coaching or consultation calls. So if you want to get that, just go to westmcdowell.com slash kickstart. And again, everything's fair game. We can talk about your website, your digital marketing, your email marketing, your lead magnet, any of that good stuff. It's all on the table. So go to westmcdowell.com slash kickstart. And that would be just a one-on-one session between you and me. And I can't wait to help you out. Bye for now.